Alright, welcome, this is Quizfix, and I'm gonna be casting a game between Seth, FXO, Seth, in the top right corner, and in the bottom left corner, Icon Stevo. Uh, if any of you don't know who Seth is, he pl was number one in NA for some time, and um, I don't know what his rank is right now, but he sure is a good player. I don't know Stevo, I'm sorry if I should, but I don't know him. Um, they're just starting out, apparently they know each other, um, nothing special yet, no summon pool, anything, well that wouldn't be yet I suppose, either, you would be able to do a summon pool. Um, Seth plays as the Suck, and uh, Stevo is the Protoss, if you hadn't figured that out by now, and uh, basically, well, everything. Just looking standard. I'm. Um, this is my first cast ever, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Please thumbs up. I'll probably do some more of these StarCraft 2 um, casts, and we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. And there was no extractor trick, um, as far as I'm, as far as I saw, from Seth. And ah, uh, even a little hot there. Have fun, good luck. Yep, and um, let's see. Stevo actually scouted the correct way first uh, in first try. Something that hopefully never happens to me. Uh, this map, basically, you have to go by here. They're close by ground. Uh, no, they're close by air. Um, which means basically short distance from here to here. Um, another thing is by ground you have to go all the way, you can't just go straight over here, you have to go like all the way over here, around the Tsilnaga and over here. Also another good thing is to hold the Tsilnagas, but uh, let's see what Seth's got going on, he just now puts this, uh, let's get some more speed and that's why I was going so slow. Um, he's now just getting uh, extractor, he's got the extractor up, getting gas, free drones and gas and the spawning pool. And Stevo is now getting the gateway with a little room here, and then he's probably going to put his cybernetics core around here, uh, so he gets a full block off. Um, and then we're going to sell it here. That's pretty standard. And this is uh, not from the newest patch, so the spore crawler timing and uh, 4-gate is still useful and all that good jazz. Oh well, I don't think it's good because I'm a soak player, and I like the old the new patch. Um, Four gates gotten a bit weaker. Uh, double gas from Stevo, and still just one gas. And he actually took out his drones from this. Um, sorry, I didn't notice that before. And now I think he's gonna go for an expansion here. Yep. So he's gonna go for an expansion, and he got his four circling, so he should be able to clean this probe up just fine. Also, he got a overlord scooting this way. I don't know if he actually wants to go all the way. I usually don't go all the way in, just because of the fact that if he had a stalker, he went stalker first, um, my overlord would be dead. Unless you're really good at using your overlords. It seems like Seth's pretty good at that. And uh, oh, here we have some Cyclone second. Nice micro by Seth. He only loses one, two, two is down. Now, Nice force field to block these uh, two last ones up, but it won't be enough now. Now, this is problematic for Stevo. He's got two circlings in his own base. He can't even throw down a pylon because of these uh, circlings. And uh, what do we have going on? Uh, 20 to 21 harvesters. So, Protoss is ahead right now. If he can hold this off, now it's 20 to 20, but he got four circlings in his uh, main. There we go, another one goes down, and let's see production. Now, uh, four workers killed. Um, that's pretty good uh, for this stage of the game. And also, he killed. Oh, I'm uh, sorry, I didn't. I missed this part. Uh, he blocked. Uh, apparently, blocked this off by um, with a force field and just survived the 
this for the HHP. Now he's gonna have to take him down his pylon uh, to be able to get out because this is a full block off. Seth, uh, Seth's got uh, his second base just done to get saturated. A bit over saturated here on his main, but that will be fine whenever he decides to get his gas and then he can u he u will use some of his drones to get buildings and stuff like that. Uh, is he gonna go for an expansion already? I think he might. Yep, an expansion. So, uh, Stevo, after losing a couple of uh, probes, he's just decided, well, better get my expansion. Um, oh, and here we have some circles coming down from Seth. Um, he's thrown it up behind this and getting a roach one. Uh, I like this play, uh, just putting some pressure on, trying to deny this uh, expansion, and some good force fields here to make sure that he won't lose too much to these couple of circlings, and he saves his expansion. A little warp in here with a century and a sealed. Uh, it seems pretty good for everybody, a lot of drones getting produced. He's got full saturation on both his main and his uh, natural now, as well as getting two extractors and one plus attack and a roach one. And he's also getting a layer. And what have we got going on down here? We've got four sentries, one stalk, and two sealets, and very little saturation over here, but that's due to a transfer of exactly half his probes. That's pretty. Uh, well, half his mineral mine probes, that's pretty good. I never seem to get that right. And we have a couple of scouting circlings running down to the dune against this little group of um, gateway units, basically. And we have a couple of roaches here, and he's reacting by pumping out a bunch of ro uh, roaches. More roaches, you can see a lot of roaches being built, a couple of circlings. Um, let's see, what is he gonna follow this up with? He's getting Boro, I like this, I really do like this. Is he gonna get the Talon Claws as well? Well, he doesn't have the moment. Come on, Talon Claws. Come on! And we have uh, 10 circlings as well getting produced. Yep, and then we have the Talon Claws. Uh, I think, yeah, he will be happy. He'll have enough support as well. And even with all these circlings coming in, he doesn't want to lose too many of these circles, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter all that much. Let's see. Army supply and worker supply favoring uh, Seth. There's nothing uncommon in that when it's Cirque uh, so versus Protoss. He should be ahead in supply. Uh, Oversaturation in main and under saturation, I think. Yeah, under saturation. He should move some uh, drones from his main to his uh, to his natural, but I think he'll do just fine. Also, uh, oh, now he's moving out. This is going to be a timing attack, just as his tunneling claws kicks in, I think, or his burrow kicks in at least. So he will be able to burrow under uh, what, all the force fields and do a lot of damage. Uh, we got a lot of roaches coming in here, and army supply says. He's heavily ahead, and uh, worker supply, well, not that good. Do, do I see he have a robo bay? No, he only got f Oh, yes, he does. Observer underway. Uh, tunneling claws just finished. Observer just gets out in time. Will this be enough to hold it? I think he might. Uh, he needs this up more so bad right now. Oh, and he pops up right in the middle of it. Ah, this is bad. This is really bad for uh, Steve-O. His, his army is getting annihilated. Everything is falling apart. Uh, the, these roaches just seem to be too much for him. I don't think he can hold this. Uh, no, no. Now, the immortal pops out, but it's just too late, and... Yeah. Uh, Seth takes this game. I don't know if anybody have ever uh, showed it, uh, casted it, or anything. But at least uh, I can tell you where it's from. You can go to Seth's uh, webpage and our homepage and 
Uh, you can download all his replays there. He's so kind, he will put them up. Also, you can find his stream on teamliquid.com. I don't remember exactly, but Team Liquid's homepage. Uh, page. He streams there uh, daily, uh, or at least pretty often. I like to watch it. And, uh, well, good game from Stevo. And uh, there'll be a link in the description to both Team Liquid's webpage and um, and Seth's. Uh, but yeah, that was basically destruction. So, see you guys next time.